What's up guys, we're gonna roll beats. Today we're gonna be going over why your drums are so important. We don't really need a scale or anything like that. We're gonna keep it pretty simple so we can go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start with our melody now. Purposely, I picked one sound and I just kinda have this little custom sound. It's not really anything crazy, okay? Um, and the point of this is, I just wanna show people that you, you don't need to have a crazy melody all the time. Like sometimes, um, all you need is like hard hitting drums. So we're gonna focus on the drums rather than um, like we usually focus on the melody um and i actually might turn this down a bit kind of have a slow uh so simply we don't need a scale right let me make this larger so you can see um we can do like something dark right um we can just kind of pull these up an octave like that short knees up a bit okay so um this is pretty much the start of like the minor okay um just if you know that basic information but all you have to know is this like simple pattern right um so we can use one of these notes right here and then honestly we can just leave it there like I already took too much time making this anyway. And over here, you could do the, you could do the negative five things of so one, two, three, four, five. Um, but we could just go up an octave to make it even easier. So it's the same exact notes, all right? For like a second part. All right, so that is the melody. That's all we're doing. Um, I might load up some effects, so I'm not sure if I'll do that or not. But if I do, I'll show you. Well, let's go ahead and move on to the drums. All right, so I went ahead and decided to add an effect. Now it's very simple. I just added a portal and I just chose like a default preset, the digital tape toys. Okay, and start here. Um, and it kind of like reversed it a bit and then I just EQ'd it. Okay, so I'll play it. Just to kind of give it a little bit like more to it, right? Some, some depth. Um, so that is all I really did there. So now we can start our drums. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the snare and clap. And it's pretty much like the kind of static little, you know, clap there. Um, so I'm going to just show all this. I'm going to try not to speed anything up since this is based on the drums. Okay, that's a good little volume over here. And we can add like a different rhythm. It doesn't have to be like completely like stale. It's going to add like a different rhythm. It's way too loud. Could probably play around with the 808 on that part. All right, I'm gonna probably turn these up just slightly. Matter of fact, here, let's go to pan and then we could pan these a little bit. All right, that's good. So that is kind of our basic little drum there. Um, so now I think we can kind of add in our 808 and then the rest. All right, so now we are on to the 808. Um, so this should be the most fun part. Um, so we can start here, probably D5. Let's shrink these a bit. And I'm gonna try to make it so that you can see everything, but obviously some things don't fit. And then I'm looking at my other drums as well. We don't have our snare or hi-hat in, um, but we can adjust after, but I'm just kind of placing it depending on where like these little drums are. And I'll probably use that same rhythm. If we go five down, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Kind of 
like a sharp all right so we keep this same rhythm a bit um let me just keep this going let's see Just trying to switch it up so it's not the same stuff every, you know, loop. All right. So that is our 808s. I know it took way longer than it needs to be, but I want to make sure if any producer that is new to producing that is watching this, um, you know, they can kind of follow along as well. Oh, well, that's the 808. So now we just got to take care of the hi-hat and our snare. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do our hi-hat. I'm going to right click for these two steps. Um, I feel like this beat is pretty much already done. We can just uh, add what we need at this point. You know what? I do want to add some bounce to the hi-hats a bit. play around with that velocity okay I like that I like that and again, I'm just trying to like make sure I don't like skip over anything. So I'm just just taking my time. And we can just copy this like that at the end. All right, so that is the hi-hat. I'm gonna just leave it like that. I don't really think we need to add anything crazy. Let me see. Okay, I think that'll fit. All right, uh, so now let's do the snare roll. All right, now lastly, we're just gonna do our snare roll. Um, and after this, you're pretty much done. You can add other things, but like, this is all you need. All right, you just need some hard hitting drums and a simple melody, man, and you're good. And I might turn this BPM up a bit. All okay, I like that vibe, all right. So let's go in here, and again, make sure that this is not. All right, and then I'm gonna just place it depending on where I wanna hear it. And also, if you are doing snare rolls, some like one six beat is great and one third step. But I start with one six first. Let's play around with this velocity. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's good enough. I've been doing that for too long. And then let's add a snare here. And honestly, I'm just copy this over. Make sure it's in about the same spot. All right. I think that's good enough, at least for this video. We can listen to the whole thing and I'll just play this. Okay, so that's it for this video. Again, this is just kind of to show you that you only really need nice drums to um, have a good beat and just a simple melody. You don't need to, you know, have that wonderful, beautiful melody all the time. Sometimes simple is better. But that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.